Hello, this is Nicholas, project lead of Enderal, and we are happy to present you the final episode of our dev blog. As you might have guessed already, it's about the second new class that will join the roster in our upcoming Enderal DLC Forgotten Stories. Just like the Phasma list, the Lycanthrope is a class centered around crafting. It offers a very challenging playstyle that requires preparation and planning, but provides a unique experience when played right. While the Phasmalist core skill is enchanting, the Lycanthrope is all about alchemy. Once you've unlocked his first skill in the meditation menu, you will be able to consume potion that would poison everyone else. The heart of these is the so-called Wolf's Blood, a concoction that allows you to transform into a werewolf for a limited amount of time, granting you increased strength, health and stamina. Of course, this power comes at a cost. Not only will you need to buy or harvest the proper ingredients to brew the potion, but every transformation also triggers a cane fever, which in return requires ambrosia to alleviate it. In other words, to play the Lycan Trip successfully, you need to plan and manage your resources. Another crucial tool in the Lycan Trip's arsenal are Chimica. A Chimicum is another exclusive potion that enhances aspects of your next transformation. For example, you can drink a Vitality Chimicum to boost your health and wolf form even further, or even add elemental damage to your claws. Since, as a Lycanthrope, you will spend a lot of time brewing stuff, the Mobile Laboratory Park will allow you to do so even when traveling. Of course, potions crafted there will start out weaker than those from a regular laboratory, but the difference can be evened out with the right perks. Other useful memories of the Lycanthrope improve your harps from plants, your sneaking skill and roof form that you see through walls, or reduce the amount of arcane fever caused by each transformation. Experienced Lycanthropes can also release any active Chimica in the system in a poison cloud, whose effects depend on the expelled Chimica. Now, what determines the strength of your wolf form? While the wolf's stamina is solely determined by the Lycanthrope's alchemy skill, health is determined by his or her alchemy and stamina. The damage of your claws, on the other hand, depends on alchemy, stamina and the weapon equipped in transformation. Now, if you're a mage, the transformation takes your currently equipped spell's magic school into account, such as elementarism or light magic, and with the right perk, mana even replaces stamina in the equation. So how can you play the Lycanthrope? Generally speaking, there are three ways. As a warrior, you simply pop a potion and use a beast form to wreak havoc. If you prefer to be stealthy instead, Anderal's Lycanthrope also allows you to sneak in wolf form and strike undetected. And if enemies do detect you nonetheless, your claws and large health pool will take care of the rest. As a mage, you will probably play as a hybrid. In other words, use up all your mana for spells and then transform to take out any remaining enemies. Another unique aspect of the Lycanthrope is how it interacts with other classes. As a wolf, you have full access to your normal talents, so you can employ a variety of tactics to succeed. So do you need to use Rock Solid for extra protection or Shock Nova to deal with tenacious enemies? No problem. To make playing in wolf form even more convenient, you can fully interact with your environment when transformed. This includes looting enemies, opening doors or picking locks. Though you cannot transform in settlements, the right perk even allows you to do so and interact with NPCs or even merchants. As you might know already, there are affinities in Andral, two classes that, when combined, form a new one, and the Lycanthrope is no exception. After release, depending on which trees you choose to mix, you may unlock a new class with additional bonuses and a really cool effect. And that's about it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this little insight into Forgotten Stories, because it won't be much longer until release. Tell us how you'll be playing the like and trope in the comments, and if you have any questions, we're happy to answer. Thanks for watching, and enjoy Forgotten Stories.